Hello Hectoverse and welcome back to my channel and to my multimeter review. Let's start today's video. Is this a good collection of multimeters that I have? Take a look different brands, different sizes, with different functions. Some of them have color displays, some, some of them are rechargeable, some of them are very simple, some of them have oscilloscope, many, many multimeters. What do you think? Which one is my first multimeter? And I'm gonna tell you, it's this one. It's a Fluke 17B plus digital multimeter and it's one of my favorite, favorite ones, yes, but the price today for this thing is very pricey. It's ordinary multimeter but made by Fluke. It measures AC voltage, DC voltage, millivolts, continuity test, resistance, capacity capacitance, amperes for DC and AC voltage also can measure a temperature. It have also, where is it? Nope. A very low backlight. But on AliExpress this thing cost wow, 140 US dollars. It's pretty much. After fluke I needed a pocket multimeter, so that's why I got this one. It's made by Anang and it only works with 3 volts CR2032 coin battery. Besides measuring the AC voltage, the DC voltage resistance, continuity, also this thing can measure milliampers and it's handy. And on AliExpress you can get this product or this multimeter pocket multimeter for 8 US dollars and I love it because it's small and you can hold it in your pocket <laughs> all right the next multimeter that I bought is this this one it's OW18E and this thing is a beast, believe me. It's not very popular brand, but this multimeter, it's a beast. Besides all the measurements, also this one can measure hertz and duty cycle. And also it has a Bluetooth, so you can connect with your phone and using an app you can see the measurements. Oh, let's see the backlight. Oh, it's nice better. It's better than the Fluke. Oh, my battery is slow. It's not rechargeable this one. How much cost this thing on AliExpress? This video is only for showing you uh, the multimeters with the prices on AliExpress. It's not sponsor, but only to show how much is the value of the multimeters right now. O1 the brand is and the price is around $47 oh, it's affordable and the rubber is very rough I like that nice holder the probes are also beautiful remember that okay let's put it back The next multimeter that I got in my workshop is this horizontal screen made by Anang and the model is 613 with auto power also it have a, a clock date you can see the, the temperature the humidity and it have a holder it works with two AAA batteries it's not rechargeable 
and let me show you the backlight it's not the best but it's good let's see how much this thing cost on aliexpress around 17 us dollars Ooh, that is affordable and this model it's auto also you can manually select your desired function continuity diode capacitance also measure the frequency milliampers amperes for ac for dc nice in the meanwhile i got this small nang m107 with auto function and one button and take a look how fast is powering on with one press every multimeter have some functions or good functions also works with two AAA batteries it's not rechargeable also it have non-contact voltage I forgot to tell you that also O1 have non-contact voltage Fluke doesn't this one NX613 also don't have non-contact voltage this one have it but the maximum measuring for amperes is just just two amperes and it's sim similar to the pocket next i think between two of these i got the, my first rechargeable multimeter yes this is zll j meter or the model is zl 126 b auto power off also have a non-contact voltage here it is it have a flashlight also you can select manually the operations and it have this beautiful black and white contrast screen nice how much this cost also this one is turning on very fast take a look beautiful and the price for this one is 18 US dollars oh and it have a couple of models also it says professional digital smart multimeter 9999 counts through RMS and who is the first that will turn off let's see it still not okay doesn't have a holder I forgot to tell you that and also this one it's vertical big screen doesn't have a holder you need to hold it like this and it's the NNG CZ02 let's see the backlight all right also this one have a non-contact voltage and also it have a flashlight nope how to turn on oh all right here it is and the screen goes red when you detect a, a voltage let me show you okay the screen goes red meaning detecting electromagnetic field also this one detecting electromagnetic field and take a look how good is this one stay the smaller one on auto and we have the winner the first that power off is Fnirsi and the next multimeter that I got in my workshop it's my beauty call it Zoe the model is 
ZT703S. Which one? Nope. This is rechargeable multimeter with color screen and it's 3 in 1 uh, multimeter with oscilloscope and signal generator. Take a look how fast go from multimeter to oscilloscope. Nice. But the powering and shutting down it's a little bit slow. I'm gonna hold it. One, two, around two seconds. It's rechargeable with 10 amperes DC current measuring. It have an auto range also auto power off and let's see how much does it cost on aliexpress yes it have a holder but doesn't have non-contact voltage detector and for this thing you don't need it and the price on the aliexpress for this thing is 88 us dollars and it's most affordable thing that you can get for the money it has almost everything for measuring in electronics. Remember that. Also, it's dual channel with two channels for the oscilloscope. All right. And the last that I got in my workshop is this multimeter. Fnirsi. Let's turn it on. It's all also with color display it's 3 in 1 multimeter with oscilloscope and voltage or oh, signal generator sorry take a look now it's an oscilloscope signal generator and back to the voltmeter you can it's auto it's auto but you can select manually with the selector it's rechargeable yes of course and this thing that I'm holding is 1 MHz and I forgot to tell you that the Zoe is 50 MHz but this model you can get with 10 MHz it's dual channel and let's see the price how much does it cost and for the 1 MHz oscilloscope it's 54 US dollars and for 10 MHz it's 60 US dollars and it's pretty affordable for multimeter like this with three functions. Okay. Uh, in the comments below, please tell me which one is the best by your opinion. What do you think? You need to take that some of them are rechargeable, some of them are not. On some of them the backlight is poor, on some of them the backlight is great, like this color screen on the FNIRC, on the ZL126B, this have a horizontal screen. Everyone have something special. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this collection. Alright, that was all for today's video. Please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya! I love them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I love multimeters. Where, Where are you? Whoa.